What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Real Life Series, man. Y'all can see me, your boy Franklin, checking out his studio in the new crib, man. And, bro, that watch is annoying me, bro. There's a whole watch over this man's jacket. And for some reason, I can't get it to, to come off, bro. I don't, like, I don't know what's going on with that. But today, today's episode, man, as you guys can see, man, we are at the new mansion. Uh, for, oh, yeah, and then another thing. I accidentally didn't save my game when we, uh, you know, wired the 19 million for this guy. So I'm going to go ahead and do that again really quick. One, two, three. One, two, three. All right. So I forgot to do that, you know what I'm saying, when we uh, went ahead and pay for this guy. But uh, what we're going to go ahead and do in today's episode, we actually got to go ahead and look at a new shop. I'm going to cook us another large batch. How much do we have? 89,000 grams. All right. So we probably gonna be able to do some some major trapping in the next episode, which I actually already had planned. But uh, today, today's episode, man, your boy Franklin, we're actually buying a new shop, and we're also getting a new garage too, uh, as well, man. And this garage is actually gonna be closer to the new shop, and the new shop is actually very close to Los Santos Customs, man. So I really hope you guys do enjoy this guy, man, for Shizo. And uh, I ain't gonna lie, I think I might have forgot to. Uh, load up that garage but that's all good that's all good so uh yeah man what we got to actually do is we're actually gonna go ahead and y'all know man we got the wraith over here and then we got the, the Silverado should be here too yeah so we got to go ahead and hop on into this guy we got to make our way all the way to the shop that we had in cypress i don't know why he was about to get into the wraith but we got to go all the way down to cypress autos you know that's our shop that we had down there and we got to uh we actually got to hook up our trailer and we got to transport the two cars that are left at that shop because uh, we are now going to go ahead and get rid of it and let me know if you guys think we should sell that shop but, you know your boy Franklin did own it you know what I'm saying so let me know if y'all think uh, we should sell it and how much should we sell it for we'll go ahead and make that happen man all right so we're going to make our way to uh, our destination which we're actually going back to that shop and uh, oh, the RS7 is officially done as well, man. So uh, yeah, you guys are gonna be able to see what that guy looks like on, the, on these Ruchis. I ain't gonna lie, that joint looks too sexy, man. It looks too sexy. So uh, I know for a fact y'all gonna really like this right here. Hopefully you guys do enjoy the episode, nonetheless, man. Um, but nonetheless, uh, shit, man. I, and, and also, man, I do apologize, man. I wasn't planning on taking the weekend off, but I ended up taking the whole weekend off. I don't know, man. I just wanted to clear my mind a little bit. Because I've been having a lot of fun with work, man. Y'all know. Y'all know. These videos, man, they, they're, they're funny shit to do. I love doing them. I always gonna love doing them. But, uh, you know what I'm saying? I had to go ahead and take a look. A, a small break, man. A small break. Just to keep myself from getting burnt out. I didn't even set the waypoint for it. Cypress, man. We're just driving. That's funny. But, uh, so, we're gonna go ahead and make our way down here. I'm gonna show you guys this RS7. Alrighty guys, we are now down the street from the shop. I'm gonna go ahead and pop on in there, get the trailer hooked up. Well, actually, we ain't, you know, know, we ain't gotta go inside to get the trailer hooked up. And our batch just finished. Let's go ahead and do us another large batch. Oh, oh, I just, I just checked the damn shit. But we got, damn, 94,000 grams. All right, all right, that's what I'm talking about. So once we get 100,000, well, you know, we'll just keep making them and then we'll just sell them, you know what I'm saying, in the next episode. But I'm gonna go ahead and take the truck to the back. Where the trailer's at. Put a close to you. Alright, so here we go, man. There is the trailer. Y'all already know how this is about to go down. We're gonna go ahead and get the uh, the last two cars here because we're about to transport them to the new garage, which is the RS7. Well, actually, the RS7 will be going to the new shop. So we'll be transporting the RS7 to the new shop, and this Monte Carlo will be going to the uh, Monte Carlo will be going to the uh, the new garage. So let's go ahead and uh, I gotta obviously turn this on, man. Y'all already know, man. This truck needs some power, and I still forgot to switch the handle on. All right, let's go on into the shop, man. So you guys, this uh, this RS7, this complete RS7 on these roaches. I ain't gonna lie, this joint actually looks real good. Rose gold trimmed with some rose gold ribs. Let's go ahead and make this happen. You gonna let me in? I'm about to say you gonna let me in. All right, so there's a Monte Carlo right there. I know they got still stuck, no work done on it yet, but the RS7 has finally been done. Let me know what y'all think about this guy. Yeah, you can kind of barely see that rose gold on them rims. But yeah, that's chrome with some rose gold. These Rushis look really nice too, I ain't gonna lie, man. Look at that, with that paint job. That paint job kind of matches. 
You see that that little rose gold trim piece right there? Some more rose gold trim pieces right here. You kind of can't even tell, but yeah, that's all rose gold up there. And then this this front grill is supposed to be rose gold too. I don't know, man. It's a, it's all like the paint job kind of goes with it, so you kind of can barely tell. But uh. Okay, we gotta go ahead and get this guy and the Monte Carlo loaded up. Now, I'm gonna load this first, since this is going to the new dealership. And it's crazy, because this new dealership is actually attached to Los Santos Customs. So, uh, this is gonna be pretty interesting. Uh, I wonder how we're actually gonna be doing some of the work now. We might actually just still get some of the work done at Los Santos Customs. Since, uh, you know, the dealership's gonna be right next to the shop. Right. Go to get this guy on down here. I kind of want to drive that guy a little bit, man. So we might might take it to the shop and all that, but we'll probably do a trapping episode in it before it sells. Let's go ahead and get the money card. So you guys can let me know in the comment section down below how much should we pay for this shop. You know, it's a good time owning this, this shop right here, man. You know what I'm saying? But it's time to move on to bigger and better shops, bigger and better buildings. Plus, we finally got a bigger dealership, too. That's another thing. That's another reason why we're... Can I not get my money card out of here? Wow. And I blew out both my rear tail lights. Alright. I blew out both rear tail lights. That's great. Alright, so we're going to go pull on out here. And we're going to get both of these guys attached and loaded onto the trailer. This guy is not opening up. Come on now. Alright, so let's go ahead and let's get these guys loaded up and ready to go. So we can go ahead and uh, show you guys the new garage and the new shop. Alrighty guys, we are loaded up, ready to go. Money Carlo and the RS7 have both been loaded up. So now we're going to go ahead and make our way to the new shop. Or the new garage, the new garage, not the new shop. Well, actually, you know what? This new garage kind of could be the new shop too, as well. You know what I'm saying? It's like a garage and a shop in one. So it kind of eliminates like what we have going on right now. Where we have a, a garage to store the cars, and then we got the shop right here. It's kind of all in one. So you know what I'm saying? We get to eliminate a, a whole building, man. So really, we could sell our garage and we could sell our shop. So you know what I'm saying? You guys, let me know in the comment section down below how much should we sell both of those guys for. But at the same time, man, you guys may actually want me to keep the garage after you guys see what this new garage slash shop looks like. And uh, it's actually not even bigger. It just, you know, it just has some working equipment inside of the garage. And, you know what I'm saying? We could actually do, you know, we could actually work on, you know, the vehicles at the same time. So, you know what I'm saying? I, I think it'll be a good idea to actually go ahead and move here and all that for, you know, the business wise. But, you know what I'm saying? If y'all don't want to make this happen, man, I think we should. Still look for another shop or another garage. And then let me know in the comment section down below. And then, uh, man, I don't, you know, basically everything is just a little bit different now, man. Because like the new, the new shop, the, uh, the new dealership that we're about to be going to, that guy is connected to Los Santos customers. So it's like, you know, what I'm saying we could have everything, you know, everything at the new dealer. We don't even have to move it. We have everything at the new dealer. But what kind of fun is that, man? I ain't gonna lie. What kind of fun is that? So we're gonna go ahead and make our way to this new garage. And also, we will be utilizing our truck shop. And then, uh, probably in the next, like, within the next three to four episodes, we're gonna be doing our first F-350 build, man. So hopefully you guys do stay tuned for that, man, because we're gonna start doing all types of trucks. It's just the F-350 is the first one. And then uh, I wanna do an F-450 dually, too, so. I got some big plans, man. We got some big plans. First two trucks that are gonna get done are gonna be some crazy ass trucks, man. They're gonna be some crazy ass trucks. So I really do hope you guys do enjoy and hopefully hopefully you guys do stay tuned and get ready for the videos that's about to be coming out, man. Yeah. But alright, so man, but yeah man, I hope you guys did enjoy it. Your weekend, man. You know what I'm saying? I hope you guys had a great weekend. Your boy. I had a pretty chill, a nice smooth chill weekend. I was worried about y'all the whole weekend because you know what I'm saying? I don't like taking days off, but sometimes I take them days off just to keep my mind fresh. But um, yeah, man, I would think about y'all the whole weekend, man. Y'all just don't know. Like, my, not a day goes by where YouTube does not cross my mind, and it's kind of crazy. So, you know what I'm saying? I'm always constantly thinking about you jokers. Just remember that, man. Newcomb is always thinking about you. <laughs> 
So yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? The videos, the videos gonna keep coming for uh, until I, I kid you guys now, bro. I have no plans on you know discontinuing YouTube in my life at all. Like I have no plans right now, bro. Like I'm going to do YouTube for as long as this shit is here. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it's just the, the the way that I do the videos and stuff are slowly gonna change, man. That, that's really my main thing. It's trying to make those things change. Trying to make some changes in that way. So. Man, I really kind of want to go around these folks, but it is what it is, man. We go ahead and sit, wait. So hopefully you guys do enjoy the series, man. Nonetheless, I finally got the first PC part upgrade coming in today. You know what I'm saying? So hopefully it does fix some of our problems. I'm not even percent sure it will. So, uh, you know what I'm saying? It'll fix some of our problems. Like, it won't fix it 100%, but it'll fix it to where it's not as frequent. Because this, this is a little too frequent, man. You know what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to run a couple of tests. I'm going to run a couple of changes and fixes and stuff. And hopefully, everything does run a lot smoother uh, than it does now, man. Because I, I know that's the main thing that's really causing my, my videos to really downgrade in quality is basically my PC's, uh, my PC's quality, my PC's standard. It needs a little work. All right, so we're almost here at the new garage. Now, if you guys remember, this garage location I noticed is actually in the same spot as one of our other shops that I think we had in the very, very, very beginning of the series. Right, so hopefully you guys don't mind that, but uh, it, it's a little bit different. It's not the same. Uh, in, in fact, the other one, in my opinion, is kind of better. This one is just different and new. We haven't used it. Ooh, wow. I, I screwed that up. I should have went a little wider, but this one is just a little different. Like we've never used this uh, this spot at all before, so I really wanted to go ahead and use it for a different location. Right, so let's go ahead. Look at that squat, bro. That, <laughs> this trailer is just too heavy for this truck. We would definitely need to get a new handling line in for it. All right, so I'm pulling all the way up so we can get this guy loaded. All right, let's go pop on up. Damn, but I'm telling you, I just really love this truck, bro. On these forages, man. Let me know what y'all think. We're probably gonna. I may actually go ahead and get us another one, a stock one. And uh, you know what I'm saying? We'll have that one for the, you know, for the company. I'm trying to say high country. I'm trying to see if I can go under the trailer, but obviously I can't go under it. Yeah, man. Look at that high country 3500 HD. Got that. Oh yeah, look at look at that. You see how close we got that RS7, bro? Yeah, we do is this, man. We do is this. All right, let me get the money collar on here. But the money collar is what's about to come off. Now, I ain't gonna lie. I'm not gonna have you guys sit through a whole another uh, cut and split action because y'all know, like this, for some reason, there is like a huge barrier right there. So I'm just gonna go ahead and we're gonna load. We're just gonna go ahead and hop on into it. Hopefully, we don't glitch off the trailer. That's my main thing. I'm not trying to glitch off this guy. You know what? I'm gonna just freeze in place. Let's detach. This is what's going to cause us to... Let me see if I turn that on. Hey! Oh. <laughs> I thought I found a way. I thought I found a way. Oh, man. Damn. It's like there's there's no way around it, bro. It's, it's going to happen. Oh, this is horrible. We are not in a good spot at all. Like, my truck is in the middle of the road. I can't, we can't squeeze through. All right, you know what? I just drive this guy around since this is the only car we're loading up here. We're not loading up any other cars here. So I'll just drive around real quick. It ain't nothing that, you know what I'm saying, go around real quick. Plus, I like driving this. I ain't even gonna lie. I love driving this guy. This guy got some speed. And I just like how it handles. Look at that, man. Alright, so we done made it back. So here is the shop slash garage that I was telling you guys about. Let me go ahead, we're gonna pull the money carlo in. So we go ahead and have a shot like this. We'll be able to actually uh, you know what I'm saying? See we had two cars working on at the same time. We got the shop, you know what I'm saying? The folks back there, they'll be sitting at the uh bench locations. We could like park some cars in here. There's a building right there for you know, whenever we need to write somebody up, get the paperwork out of here. Or get them in their paperwork out of here is what I meant to say. So, you know what I'm saying? We got the desk right there. So, let me know what you guys think about this shop for sure. 
if y'all think this is uh, a better a better solution than the, the the last shop in Cyprus, because the last shop in Cyprus is just a little far. That's the only reason why I kind of wanted to move. You know, we got a smaller shop. It's in the city, which is why it's small. You know, it's not really on the outskirts or anything like that. But I just think this would be a, a better shop in my opinion, man. Because this other shop, at La, I mean, the dealership that we bought at Los Santos Customs. And honestly, I just thought about that. How the hell did we buy all this shit? And we just spent the last 19 mil that we had <laughs> on goddamn on on the house. Your boy Franklin is making some some real funny uh, business moves right now, man. But uh, yeah, you guys can let me know how much should we pay for that new garage back there that we just left, and you guys can let me know how much should we pay for this dealership up here that we're about to go ahead and pop up at. And we'll make those payments uh, probably in the episode for tomorrow, the episodes for tomorrow, because I'm about to record all of today's videos. So, yeah, you, you guys won't even get this video by the time all of today's videos are completely recorded and done. But, um, yeah, as you guys can see, man, huge building change right there for Los Angeles. I gotta take this wide as hell. Oh, I didn't take it wide enough. Oh, I didn't take it wide enough. Yep, I didn't take a while enough. Okay, all right, we'll just get a little scraper, man. It's all right. Or not, okay. It ain't even gonna let me come in. Man, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm not sorry. They they walked straight into my truck, bro. Like, are you serious? All right, hold on, guys. I gotta get this. We gotta get this truck in. I ain't even realized that we was gonna be too long for this. Like, uh, what? Like, I did not realize, <laughs> bro, if I would've known this, bro, if I would've known this, we probably, I, we probably wouldn't have drove this truck, you know what I'm saying? Probably would've drove something else. I really didn't realize how long this, uh, this guy did. What's that noise? I just heard some noise. Oh, man, I might be tripping. I might be tripping. All right, so now we better take this stupid wide. Here we go. Okay, this is how we need to come in on. This side is, it's wide enough. But here's the dealership right here. Whoa. Okay, all right. I'm gonna do the game a favor real quick. It's about to burn my whole building down. Oh my gosh, bro. Where's the fire department? Like, like, are you for real, bro? I can't even go in here now, bro. Bro. Is my new shot really about to burn down? We ain't even been here yet. Oh my gosh. This this cannot be real life. Like this cannot be real life, bro. We just got the shop. Wow. Look at the fire department coming. Damn, now we're gonna have to do some repairs and stuff, bro. We didn't even What well, high damn. Well, hi. Oh damn, they came dude. They came stupid deep. Yeah man, put that fire up, bro. I need my shot. Yes, yeah, sir. Go ahead. Flame on. Bro, this there's a huge fire, bro. Where are they going? Put it out. Save my shot. Bro, don't make me whip out a fire extinguisher and do my own do y'all job. Hey man, save man. They about to make me whip out a fire extinguisher and do my and, and do their job for them, bro. Hold up. Where you going, bro? The fire is not out, bro. Take care of my shop. This man here, bro. He just gonna run, bro. My shop ain't. I just bought it. I ain't even had this shop that long, bro, and it's already burning down, bro. Oh wait, I think they got it. I think they got it. Woo! I think they got it. Yeah, we 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 definitely gonna have some damages in here. You know, they're obviously not gonna show because this is you know I'm saying a modded building, but uh, yeah, we're gonna have to get get some damages in here repaired. Whoa, is that wall ripped? God damn. So we got a dyno right here, as you guys can see, man. This is the full on shop. Now we come over here, man. This is the entrance to Los Santos Customs. So this is what I mean by like, it's like we have a, a slight partnership with Los Santos Customs now. So we got the dyno right there. Let me come on around here. So we got the two shops. Alrighty. 
So it looks like these firefighters are now stuck because y'all know, man, this building isn't supposed to be here. So, you know what I'm saying? But here is another office. I'm fucking with it, man. I'm fucking with it. Let me know, man, what y'all think about this. Where are we even going to park the cars? I just thought about that. Like, there's no real parking in here for cars. Hmm. Yeah, we're going to have to figure out where we're going to actually sell our cars at. But there is an upstairs area. Like, we can drive our cars in here, of course, but there's, like, it's just not a, a ton of space, is what I'm saying. So here's the upstairs office right here. So y'all see what's really going on up here, man. You know what I'm saying? Secretary's desk. We come all the way up here, man. Now, this is my office. The big boy office. Boss man office. CEO office. Man, you already know what the fuck going on, man. You know the vibes, man. We do this. Man, we come over here. And is the vault. We got a clean little vault over here. Now, I ain't even gonna lie, man. I could have sworn most of this was not part of the mod before. Oh, yeah, look at there. Okay. Um, I don't have the keys to that right now, or no, or the code. Should I, or do? Oh uh, no, I'm about to say. So yeah, we don't have the code to that right now. Washing some of the money up. But yeah, man, here is our shop right here. This is a new dealership. And uh, and uh, this could actually be the shop because you know we got Los Angeles customers down there. But uh, yeah, man, this is uh, this is all us right here, man. It's all us. And we you know we can actually park cars outside up here. And then this is gated too. We're supposed to have this uh, whole shop that's supposed to be gated all around, all around now. So let's go ahead, let's come on down here. So you guys have now seen the shop, the new buildings. We got the new garage and we got the new dealership. You guys can let me know what you guys think about that in the comment section down below. Let's go ahead, let's get this guy unloaded. Did it put me on the trailer? It did. Oh man, come on now, don't tell me this car is gonna do this 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 pointless glitching where I can't even get inside of the car. It's gonna glitch me into the trailer every time. Okay, never mind, we're gonna go. All right, so y'all already know what's about to happen, man. I'm not gonna do no cutscenes right here for y'all, man. Y'all get to go ahead and see what we doing. I didn't mean to do that, that was a new one. All right, here we go. Oh, that's on the trailer, there we go. Um, honestly, let me see if I, I wonder, I'm trying to figure out, if, like, is there a smoother way of making this happen? See, because it would detach like that, but make it that, oh, it, it did it! Okay, all right, so we should be good to go. <laughs> I should have known, bro, I should have known. I seen the pair. I got. I got a little excited too, but I was a little ready. Oh my gosh! I was ready, bro. Like I, I just wish, man. I wish one day, man, one day. But all right, let's go ahead and uh, let's pull this guy on in. Y'all definitely let me know what y'all think about this guy. We're gonna be coming back up here to this shop because we're gonna be doing a full trapping episode of this. So definitely let me know what you guys think about it. Cause I know y'all are really gonna like this trap. Uh, the trapping episode we do with this. And uh, you know what I'm saying? It should be pretty good. Crazy idiots! So let me go ahead and back it up. It. I mean, like the way we probably could park cars is gonna be like slanted like this. I don't know, man. We're gonna have to find a full parking like. I'm gonna have to figure out how I'm gonna park the cars. But basically, that's what I'm saying, man. Cause I don't know how I'm gonna do it yet. Wow! Like this shop is gonna be full, and you know we gotta figure out how we're gonna be doing that. All right, so. There we go, man. We basically did that. Let's go ahead and uh, now what I did want to do is I kind of want to transport the Impalas over here too, because you know they, those guys are supposed to be going to the shop. But I ain't gonna lie, I don't think we've got uh, too much time for that. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to make make sure I you know make make these videos decent, uh, decently linked. I don't want them to be too crazy long doing stuff that you know we can spread out between videos and stuff like that. So. With that being said, man, hopefully you guys did enjoy this episode of the Real Hell Life series. If you guys did, make sure to drop a like down below. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Make sure to follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter. Links in the description down below. And uh, you guys will be getting a, um, a, a gang mod video today. Oh, we gotta go to the gas station. So we will be doing some gang mod, real life gang mod episodes today as well. And I may do a trailer episode too. You know what I'm saying? Three videos today, man. That's, that's what, basically what I'm saying. I'm gonna shoot for three videos today. 
So, hopefully you guys do enjoy. Hopefully you guys did enjoy today's video. If you guys do want to see more, make sure you guys smash that like button, turn on those post notifications so you'll be notified when your boy goes live and when I, you know what I'm saying, when, I'm, when I post these videos. You don't want to miss them. You don't want to miss them. Make sure you follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter. Links under the description down below. And make sure you guys sub my boy Flex. I smooth forgot to shout him out because he is the creator for the RS7. He put them Ruchis on that guy. So make sure you go ahead and sub to my boy, man. Link is always in the description, man. My boy is always in my description every single day, man. So make sure y'all go ahead and uh, sub to my boy, man. Let him, let him know y'all came from Nuka. Because uh, he actually gets a little excited. But when y'all come from my channel, oh my god, really? When y'all come from my channel and y'all go to him, he, he loves that stuff, man. I'm telling y'all, man. Like, he gets really excited. You know what I'm saying? Because he, he actually sees that y'all really fuck with the cars that he make. You know what I'm saying? So if y'all want to go ahead and cop some of his cars, man, make sure y'all go ahead, check them in the description. And I will definitely catch you guys in the next episode or live stream, man. Peace on now. Oh, and if you guys do want to go ahead and get your game set up like mine, make sure you guys go ahead, hit me up on IG. Link is also in the description down below. We'll catch you guys in the next episode or live stream, man. Peace on now.